on the spot. We take a look at this week's new releases and the new wares hitting Wii Shop Channel and PC. Speaking of PC, our holiday gift guides continue with GameSpot's picks for PC gifts. Finally, we get a demo of Marvel Pinball. Today on the spot. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Today on the Spot. It's Tuesday, November 16th. I'm your host, Kevin Van Orden. Seated next to me is the always charming Sophia Tong. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Kevin. Now, music is big. Did yes, you know it this? Is. Games aren't all that is there in life. Right. And you have been working furiously on getting some of these soundbite blogs yeah, together. Yeah, the end of the year is approaching, and since I usually update once a week, maybe now, you know, could even update twice a week. So my soundbite blog talks about video game music, I talk to composers, and just pretty much anyone who works in like the sound audio um, part of the industry. I love music, obviously. I'm in the soundtracks. I majored in composition in college. I so know, it's exciting. Yeah, very exciting to see what you're doing there. You're actually working on um, getting together with Jesper Kidd, the uh, composer of the Assassin's Creed soundtracks. Yes, I am trying to get a uh, QA with him and just kind of talk about the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood soundtrack and like the franchise as a whole. Yeah, excellent music in Assassin's Creed. You know I love it. Um, I also love lots of things in gaming. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. So instead of sitting around chatting about it, I think what it's time to do is head over and see what we've got at the news desk. Hello everyone, this is your GameSpot news update for Tuesday, November 16th. I'm Tom Magrino, filling in for Tor Thorson. It's so far so good for Microsoft in the Xbox 360's new motion sensing add-on, Kinect. The publisher said yesterday that it had knocked out the first of 5 million Kinect units it expects to sell by the end of the year. All of that and Black Friday is still a week away. Unfortunately, it appears as if a Black Friday of the crash and burn sort has struck in Liverpool. The rumor mill churned out news this morning that Activision has closed Bizarre Creations, which it acquired in 2007. Bizarre is perhaps best known for its Xbox 360 exclusive franchise Project Gotham Racing, but it is also known for creating the Blur and Geometry War series, as well as the just-shipped James Bond 007 Bloodstone. Activision has yet to confirm Bizarre's closure, but a number of industry sources are indicating that up to 200 staff have been put on 90-day notice. News of a more positive sort came out of Activision's Blizzard Entertainment Studio. Yesterday, a job listing indicated that Blizzard has begun to seriously consider bringing its highly anticipated action RPG Diablo 3 to consoles. In a statement, the studio said, We're exploring a Diablo-related concept for consoles and are currently looking to fill a few senior console-related positions on the Diablo 3 team. As we've said in the past, with proper care, the gameplay could suit the console platform, and we're interested in seeing what talent out there might be interested in such a project. And as a release date update, Ubisoft reported this week that it had pushed Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier and Driver San Francisco out of its current fiscal year, meaning the two games are now expected to ship anywhere between April 1st, 2011 and March 31st, 2012. As to this specific game, Capcom attached a February 15th release date to Marvel vs. Capcom 3. All right, that does it for today. For more on these stories and other news headlines, head on over to news.gamespot.com. It's that time of year, lots of new releases coming out, so let's find out what's happening this week on the Wii Shop Channel. This week on Wii Shop Channel, in WiiWare, have some fun with canines in Derby Dogs. Breed, raise, and race dogs to win titles and prize money. Frequent a virtual pet shop to rent new dogs or buy special dog houses and meals. After you're done racing dogs, race on your own two feet in triple running sports. Get immersed in the world of competitive running. Compete in the 100 meter and 400 meter sprints, hurdles, and 1500 meter race. In Nintendo DS eyewear, hit the city streets in Need for Speed Nitro X. Push it to the limit in 18 supercars, or lay down the law in up to six never before driven police cars, including the Hummer H2 Soot. Chase or be chased through 16 detailed tracks, or win awards and blow away up to three friends in local multiplayer. After that, go fetch. Play with puppies in a wide variety of locations, including your backyard, a park, at the beach, in Riverside, at school, in a plaza, or at a parking lot. When you're done gambling with your puppy's life, gamble with 21 Blackjack. Hit, stand, or double down in this classic rendition of the popular card game. That's all the time we have, folks. Join us next week for more This Week on Wii Shop Channel. 
Sophia, it's an insane time of year. Yes, reviews, I'm sure. Absolutely, reviews. There's a lot of stuff coming out. It's another big week in the uh, the upcoming holiday season, whatever you want to call this, the holiday <laughs> lead up. Always a lot of stuff coming out. November is a big month. Um, one big uh, game coming out is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Oh. Yeah, a lot of stuff. That's coming from the guys at Criterion, the people mm -hmm. responsible for burnout. So. A and another big game, too. An, uh, another big game, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. <laughs> you may know I kind of like Assassin's Creed. Yes, so just a little was, bit. Yeah, absolutely. So it was uh, it was good to be back to that universe. Um, mm -hmm. By the time you're uh, listening to us talk about this... Three is up. Yeah. Everyone should go look. Absolutely. Review will be up. Kevin has to say. Check it out. Yeah. But those aren't the only two games. We should check out and see what's happening this week in new releases. This week in new releases... Wearing the big boy pants this week is Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. The stealth action game follows the professional climber and assassin Ezio in the European city of Rome. Ezio is again hunting down the Templars and seeking vengeance, but now has the ability to recruit an army of killers to fight alongside him. Brotherhood will feature a multiplayer component, a first for the popular series, in which players will receive contracts for the heads of opponents. They must stealthily kill their prey before they fall victim to the knife themselves. Also hitting shelves this week is Electronic Arts' Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Revisiting the premise of the original 1998 version, this year's installment allows players to play as or race from the long arm of the law. The Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC versions of the game also feature Autolog, an overarching social network that links players' experiences by tracking accomplishments, sharing photos, and recommending events. While NBA Elite 11 has been officially canned, NBA Jam is due out on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 this week, priced at $50. When the game ships, players will be able to take part in the game's remix tour and classic campaign, but will have only limited access to online multiplayer. Players can jump into the classic 2 vs 2 online mode on day one, but will have to wait until December for further online content. For the health-minded gamer, EA releases EA Sports Active 2 this week, the title will support Kinect, and will also feature a 9-week, 3-phase program to help motivate players to carry through their fitness regimen. The game's release will be accompanied by the launch of an online hub that will let aspiring athletes upload and share their workout data. The site will also feature fitness tips, forums, and a messaging system to let players interact. From Workouts to Wizards, the first chapter of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows hits theaters on Friday, but gamers can pick up the game based on the film this Tuesday. Deathly Hallows will be darker and more action-oriented than previous installments in the series as the protective walls of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry are left behind. Potter and friends will face off against Voldemort's minions as they seek and destroy Horcruxes. Those hankering for low-altitude combat this week can pick up Activision's Apache Air Assault. The title promises players several variations of the deadly Apache attack helicopters and 16 multi-stage single-player missions throughout the volatile regions of Africa, the Middle East, and Central America. In addition to the single-player experience, the title features a cooperative component where two players team up as pilot and gunner. Further, the game supports online multiplayer in the form of Team Deathmatch, Ground Attack, Capture the LZ, and Ground Strike. For further details on the week's games, visit GameSpot's new releases page. Release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. New releases brought to you by Best Buy. Bring your games to Best Buy and get more trade-in power with select games worth $20 and up in gift cards you can use store-wide. Steam, Impulse, Direct to Drive, you can get PC games from all of these places. Marco Martinez is going to fill us in on what's happening on PC games this week. And our UK team has an ultimate gaming rig that they're going to take a look at as well. Take it away, guys. This week on PC, we take a look at two indie games, Microbe 2 and Sonic Fan Remix. We then head over to the UK to catch up on part five of the greatest gaming rig. And we finish off with the patches of the week. Microbe 2 is an indie remake circular shooter developed by Jay and Kai. Your objective is to destroy microbes that are spreading across your circular plane with different weapons. Your weapons change as you move from one end of the battlefield to the other. As you move around the circular plane, colors begin changing, thus giving you different weapons. The microbe enemies begin changing as well, so it's important you choose the right weapon and color. Sonic Fan Remix is a fan-made game made by Pelican 13, which is based on the old Sega Genesis Sonic. The game is still in beta form, so you'll only have a couple levels to play through, but there's so much within each level that you'll want to play it again. The level design is what you would expect from a Sonic game, which includes three planes which Sonic can roam through. The game is available in demo form and on GameSpot. 
Now we take a glimpse at the Hardware Insider blog where part 5 of the greatest gaming rig is going on. Mark Walton and Jane Douglas from GameSpot UK have created the greatest gaming PC rig. Check it out. All right. And um, next thing we did, Jane, was... Okay, we've also switched out the fans on our Corsair water coolers for the snazzy uh, Acasa white LED fans. As you can see here, All right. very nice and bright. Which we found unnoticeably quieter, but still push um, a lot of air. So, they uh... did, yeah. Finally, we have the patches of the week. Arma 2 has been updated to version 1.08. The updates include stability and functionality fixes, new scripting commands, AI behavior fixes, and more. Majesty 2 Fantasy of Kingdom Sim has been updated to version 1.4. The patch ensures compatibility with Majesty 2 Battle of Ardania. This patch is required for multiplayer games against players who own the add-on. I'm Marco Martinez and that's it for this week on PC. So our daily demo's coming up. Are you a fan of Marvel and Pinball? I like Marvel and I like Pinball, but I've never seen them together. Is that kind of like um, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups where you get chocolate and peanut butter it together? It kind of is. So Zen Studio's been doing a lot of the Pinball games lately, and we actually have some codes to give away for Zen Pinball and Pinball FX2 at the end of the show. But for Marvel Pinball on the PSN, let's check it out in this upcoming demo. Hey everyone, and welcome to our daily demo. I'm joined by Mel and Neil from Zen Studios here to show us Marvel Pinball. So hey guys, welcome. Hey, thanks for nice. having us. Yeah, so Marvel and Pinball fans are excited. So tell us about your tables. Totally, uh, we've, we're bringing Marvel Pinball. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Spider-Man, Wolverine, Iron Man, and Blade. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be a four table bundle. Yeah. And um, each table is totally wrapped around the personality and the character of each of those guys. And they fight and battle their um, you know, arch enemies and unlock various modes of play and boss battles and all sorts of cool features. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's jump in and we'll give you a look. Yeah, let's take a look. So you guys are on the blade table right now, I see. Yep, this is blade, um, which uh, you're gonna fight Deacon Frost, um, and he'll appear up in the top left in a little bit. And you've got Hannibal hanging out up there. He's asleep because it's <laughs> daytime, daytime right now. But the table is gonna switch here momentarily um, to night mode. And the tables have gotten complicated over the years. I mean, I'm usually just looking at it, making sure I don't, you know, lose my ball. But you have specific modes, right, to activate boss fights, as you're saying? Exactly. And um, you do that by hitting targets or by um, going over ramps a certain number of times. Mm -hmm. And those things will activate the different modes in the, in the battles. And these are all written down in a rule set? Like yeah, there's, a, there's like a rule sheet. Um, you just go into your menu and activate the rule sheet and it'll help you and guide you through all the different things to unlock and all the different modes. Um, it's kind of like a, a tip sheet. Mm -hmm. um, and you see Dick and Frost popped up up there and Hannibal's firing at you and doing all sorts of cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, and we have, we've taken a lot of liberties um, with pinball and, and with the video game world. You know, we can do fully functioning 3D models and have yeah. a lot of cool things interacting in the game. Yeah, a lot of animation and stuff like that. So the version you're playing on is on the PS3, but it also comes out on the XBLA as well? Correct. Um, Pinball FX2 is now released on Xbox Live Arcade, um, and the game will just propagate within that system and platform, uh, so all four tables will magically appear. Nice. And like any differences between the two versions? Um, like Marvel Pinball on the PSN would be like a separate game like on Yeah, on PSN it is a standalone game. Mm -hmm. Um, within, within Pinball FX2, it's part of our platform. Okay. So there's some subtle differences. Um, Pinball FX2 players enjoy a, kind of a deeper level of social connectivity. Yeah. Um, the in-game notifications letting you know how close you are to your friends and your wizard score. Mm -hmm. um, but in uh, the PSN version, we've gone ahead and we've started, we've got Team Force and um, Hero Score. Hero Score. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of the equivalent of um, your Team Score and, and your Wizard Score. Okay, very cool. So should we check out another table? Yeah, let's check out uh, Spider-Man. Is that another one of your favorites? I do, I love Spider-Man. I like the rail. The rails are really cool in Spider-Man and um, boss battles are a lot of fun. You mm -hmm. can activate all three at once. Oh really? Which makes things a um, little hectic, confusing and hectic, yeah. And uh, Mysterio battle is especially daunting um, and uh, Neil will tell you, because uh, it, it changes the triggers, mm -hmm. um, so your left one becomes your right one, so it messes oh, with your dexterity. Messed up. <laughs> yeah, so you know he's the, the master of illusion and confusion, so it's a hallucinogenic <laughs> gas attack. That, <laughs> um, that the table will turn uh, funky colors, and then, like uh, Mel said, control of the flippers will be switched from 
uh, oh. left activates left to le left activates right. And there you see Mysterio switching control of my flippers. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to and I'm fighting Green Goblin at the same time. So that was... Uh, it's all happening right now. Oh, no. yeah. Here comes Doc Ock. He's like walking up towards you. <laughs> oh, but you can like zoom out and get a better view of the entire That's table. right. So on, on multi-balls, um, which, which uh, this mode it, with Green Goblin is a multi-ball because it's got the pumpkin bomb ball uh -huh. plus the normal ball. Uh, so on that, it'll zoom out automatically so you get a better view of where all the balls are going. Oh god, that's nutty. <laughs> um, and the Mysterio mode is, we're not too mean. Uh, we give you unlimited ball saves, mm -hmm. too, because otherwise it would just be too difficult. All right, cool. So when's the game coming out and on what platform? Uh, the game's going to release December of this year. It's going to be on uh, PlayStation 3, download it on PSN, and uh, part of the Pinball FX2 platform on Xbox Live Arcade. That's great. And go to marvelpinball.com, mm -hmm. um, user vote. All you fans that get there get to vote on whichever table you want to see come next. So. Ooh, so there's more coming. There will be more coming. All right, great. Thank yeah. you guys so much for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, okay, and that was our look at Marvel Pinball. Now on with the rest of the show. Clearly, Sophia, it's a PC-themed show. We've already talked about the PC downloads. Now, we're gonna talk more about PC games. Really? What are we gonna talk about? Well, as it happens, we're in the process of doing this gift guide. It's a yet another installment. People play games on those things. I know, I play games on those things. Absolutely, it's been actually a pretty good year for PC games. <laughs> so know, very StarCraft 2. Absolutely, StarCraft 2, Civilization 5. Lots of great stuff that's coming out. You know what? Let's take a look at the gift guide and see what else is worth your time and your money. The holiday season is here once again, and so is GameSpot's Gamers Gift Bag for the best picks for PC games and hardware this year. If you're going to get the most out of your computer for gaming, you'll need precision control, and it doesn't get much better than the Razer Imperator Gaming Mouse for $79.99 and the Microsoft Sidewinder X6 Keyboard for $79.95. But if you prefer controllers you can hold in both hands, you might as well grab a PC-compatible Xbox 360 controller. The wired version is $39.95 and the wireless $59.95. These days, you can get yourself a new high-end screen without breaking the bank, like the Samsung 27-inch P2770 HD LCD monitor for $379.99, or the Asus VW246H 24-inch LCD for just $200. But all this hardware is for nothing unless you've got some great games, and there are plenty of great ones available for your PC this year. First up is the obvious pick, StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. The long-awaited sequel to 1998's real-time strategy classic StarCraft is finally here, and it was definitely worth the wait. StarCraft II has a solid single-player campaign and tons of multiplayer options with one of the largest and most active online game communities out there. Between the campaign, challenge missions, skirmishes, and tournament structures online, StarCraft II has a whole lot to offer. Blizzard has prepared a collector's edition that features an art book, a making of DVD, a soundtrack CD, a comic book, exclusive downloadable content for online play, a Terran Thor pet for World of Warcraft characters, and a USB flash drive containing the original StarCraft and its Brood War expansion, all for about $112. Sid Meier's Civilization V is the latest game in the time-honored turn-based strategy series that has kept people up all night for years. Take control of world history once again in a sequel with beautiful graphics, stirring music, and new ways to conquer the planet as one of the world's great leaders. But be warned that you may find yourself taking just one more turn only to see the sun starting to rise outside your window. 2K Games has created a special edition of Civilization V, which includes five metal figurines based on the units in the game, a two-disc CD soundtrack, a behind-the-scenes DVD, and a 176-page hardcover art book. All this can be yours for just under $100. World of Warcraft needs no introduction. It's pretty much the most popular massively multiplayer online game around. And even if you don't play it, there's a good chance you know someone who does. While the game lets you explore a high fantasy world, playing as an elf, orc, or some other fantasy race, and pursue quests and competitive battles. The latest expansion, Cataclysm, has new characters to play and tons of new areas to explore. The collector's edition of the game includes an art book, an exclusive in-game pet, a behind-the-scenes DVD, a soundtrack CD, and a special edition mouse pad, all for $150. This is one gift that the Warcraft addicts out there won't want to miss.
Fallout New Vegas is the next role-playing game in the Fallout series, and it's built on the foundation set by Fallout 3, which means exploring a bombed-out future version of Earth from a first-person view and using guns, knives, and even your bare fists to defend yourself from crazed super mutants. This time around, the adventure takes you to the post-apocalyptic version of Sin City and to the wastelands beyond. The collector's edition of this game includes game-inspired items like a deck of cards and poker chips, giving fans the opportunity of owning some of the items they will find while exploring the world of New Vegas. The collector's edition also includes a graphic novel and a behind-the-scenes DVD, on sale now for $79.99. Call of Duty Black Ops brings the award-winning first-person shooter action of the Call of Duty series to a new setting, the jungles of Vietnam. Engage in jungle warfare on the ground and hitch a ride on a chopper in this new chapter. Just watch out for the napalm! Mafia 2 is an action-packed game about mob life in the mid-20th century. Don't worry, you don't need to have played the first game to enjoy the sequel, which offers hot rod cars to drive and gritty gun battles on the ground. This is a story of an ambitious young kid from the slums on his violent and sometimes tragic journey to become a made man. Mass Effect 2 is the sequel to Mass Effect, a huge sci-fi role-playing game that was less about pointy-eared elves and more about saving the universe. Mass Effect 2 is an even bigger and better space opera game that adds new areas to explore, new enemies to challenge, and plenty of tie-ins to the first game for those who played it. Mass Effect 2 offers better shooting action, a deeper story, and a richer experience all around. Monkey Island 2 Special Edition is a remake of the classic adventure game from the days of yore. Back when adventure games were about pointing and clicking on the screen, tough puzzles, and memorable characters. In Monkey Island 2, the wannabe pirate Guybrush Threepwood returns to challenge the evil ghost Pirate LeChuck in an adventure that's still challenging and still hilarious after all these years. LEGO Harry Potter Years 1-4 to is the perfect gift for the younger game player on your shopping list, or for anyone who might be a fan of J.K. Rowling's best-selling novels or the Harry Potter movies. This charming adventure recreates the early years of Harry Potter's career at Hogwarts Academy, but in LEGO form, as you explore, collect items, and cast spells. Dragon Age Origins is 2009's award-winning fantasy role-playing game, but over time, the game has grown with expansion packs and other downloadable updates. If you missed this epic adventure the first time around, you can get everything. The original game, the Awakening expansion, the nine different DLC updates, all in one box with the Ultimate Edition for about 50 bucks. And that about does it for our list of some of the very best PC game and hardware gifts that you can get for that special gamer on your list this year. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or just getting started, there's something for everyone this holiday season, so make sure you watch all of our holiday gift guides so you don't miss out on any of the hot gifts for your favorite gamer. Okay. All right, so it's trivia time, and we have 20 codes. 10 codes for Pinball FX2 and 10 for Z uh, Zen Pinball. So you have to answer this question in order to try to win one. The question is, what female character appears in the Marvel Pinball table Wolverine in the center left corner of the machine? So if you have the answer, you can email us at onthespot at gamespot.com or submit your answer in the answer trivia module on the side of the page. Sophia, I've got so much money to spend. You know me, I'm always rolling in the stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. So do you want to spend it on me? Because I could definitely use some of that. Yeah. Well, it, bling is always good, but I prefer games. Well, I'm not talking about bling. But anyway, um, if you're like Kevin and you have tons of money to burn, you should probably check out our holiday gift guides. We have more coming up too, and we already have some on the site. But you know, with all this money, I, I, I'm clearly rolling in. Yes. Um, I also want to spend it a little bit on uh, some Thanksgiving food. I'm Ooh. so hungry all the time lately. The feast. I can't wait. So that actually leads us into our next week's special Thanksgiving episode. We're going to be having a potluck. So all the editors will be here in the studio playing, you know, some games and eating. I'm going to make cranberry sauce. You know, not and not just the kind that you just out of the can. Oh, that's cheating. Um, yeah. I'm actually going to make with real cranberries and stuff. So Ooh, doesn't, that, doesn't that sound good? But you want to be a part of that too. What you need to do is tune in on next week's show on Tuesday. We're going to be playing games. We're going to be eating food. And you should tell us what games you want to see us play. Go ahead and click that button over that says Answer Trivia. It's OK. You can click that button. Or you just send an email to uh, on the spot at GameSpot.com. Tell us what you want to see us play. And that's what you're going to see us doing right there on the show, eating food, playing games, getting crap all over our controllers. It's what we do. <laughs> it is GameSpot. And it'll also be live. So be sure to tune in. We'll be able to give you guys a time very soon. Oh, yeah. It, it is live. So, uh, you know, you could always catch Send us. Send in questions. We'll probably be interacting with the users on in chat and stuff. And who knows, maybe we'll say something inappropriate. <laughs> so it's always good to tune in for that live stuff. But um, in the meanwhile, 
Obviously, I'm here with Sophia Tong. I'm Kevin Van Oort. This was Today on the Spot for November 16th. Until next time, we will see you later. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Today on the Spot. I am... <laughs> God... Okay, this is really the last time.